Hi, my name is Catherine and I am a civil engineer. Basically, a civil engineer does, um, well, in my job, I do road design and site design. And with both of those, we do um, grading and drainage um, to get the rainwater to run off the site. And also we do um, erosion and sediment control for during construction so the dirt does not run off into the surrounding creeks. And we do permitting for ADM and um, for the city and county that um, the site is in. Um, for roads, we also deal with the um, making the roads safe um, as far as curves, um, horizontal curves and vertical curves, which are hills. And um, we also have to design traffic control plans um, to make the construction area safe for that would be um, signs and guys with the flags. Um, and we do um, contract documents, which is for um, when a contract is bid, and this is a contract for the contractor to go by. And that has everything that they're supposed to do on the job, including quantities. Um, we also prepare um, engineering cost estimates, which is um, quantities of every item that is used on the job. Basically, when we get a new project, um, I go out to the site just to see what it is like, the lay of the land, um, if it's clear, has lots of trees, drainage that's around, streets. Um, that just helps us know how to design the site. Um, also, the surveying crew will go out and survey the site um, for us to have more accurate data. And um, when, when I come back, the, we have a software that is AutoCAD that is a must um, for anyone that is going, going into engineering. Typically, this is a 40-hour work week. Um, there are times, however, if you have a deadline and the job isn't complete that you have to stay and get it done, even if it's late into the night. Um, that's not too often, but that does happen. The stress level for this job is about moderate. Um, we do have deadlines that can heighten it. Um, budgets um, also are, are a big item to consider. And um, you start running out of budget and your stress goes up a little bit. To be a civil engineer, you will need to get a bachelor's, Bachelor of Science degree from an accredited university. Um, before you graduate, you will also need to take the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. You will eventually have to pass this before taking the Professional Engineering exam. Um, also, the coursework is heavy in sciences and math. Um, that's one reason I went into it because I enjoy doing math and um, it came easy to me. After four years of working under a professional engineer, after you graduate from school, um, you will be able to sit for your PE, which is the um, professional engineer exam. Um, this will allow you to get your license in engineering. Um, it is also becoming more of the norm for um, a person to have a master's in um, whatever engineering course you desire um, after your um, bachelor's degree. Having a master's degree will um, just make you even more valuable. To me, the best part of being a civil engineer is that I have the ability to be creative in my work. Um, it's not just cut and paste the same thing over and over again. There's a variety, and um, I enjoy that. Some of the harder parts is um, dealing with contractors can be somewhat, difficulty, uh, somewhat difficult. Um, just the aspect of, you know, 
we know because we're designing it they know because they're constructing it and there can be a little bit of a conflict there um, stress again can be you know troublesome sometimes my final advice to you is if you are considering civil engineering to take lots of math classes take an AutoCAD class notice your surroundings notice roads drainage sites buildings engineering's all around you there's so many different ways you can go try to pick an area something that might interest you that will make it enjoyable